Welcome back, my friends, to the show that never ends. Glad you could attend. Come inside, my movie maniacs, as we take a look at Elysium, the latest sci-fi film from Mr. Neil Blomkamp, who wrote and directed this film. Yes, he's the one that brought us District 9. Only this time around, we have the Earth in 2154, where there are very wealthy people who live on this huge space station called Elysium, while the rest of... The dregs of society. The rest of us who can't afford it live on Earth, which is just in ruin. It's overpopulated. There's lots of uh, just deteriorated completely. It's very the lower class versus the upper class, okay? But then a gentleman by the name of Max ends up going on a mission which uh, may help bring about some equality between the two. And it's definitely going to change the society as they know it for both cultures. Oh, Elysium. There's there's a lot of things going on in this film. Now, one thing I will say about Elysium is that it's not quite at the level, I felt, of District 9, but it's close, okay? Uh, one thing that they kind of uh, did have more in this is action. There's more action in this film than uh, was in District 9. So that kind of surprised me a bit, but... It still doesn't take away from this very interesting story. This is true sci-fi, folks. This is science fiction that is taking a, a current topic and exploring it through uh, storytelling set in the future of sci you know, using science fiction. And I always love that type of science fiction. So I love the concept and the, the, the setup for this movie and the premise that it's based on and everything about it. The, the culture and the society that he developed in this movie is very interesting. And, and really can bring up some discussions among people I could see after watching it. And the special effects in this were oh, top-notch, just like in District 9, making the CGI blend perfectly with the practical where you can't tell the difference, and it's definitely some of the most realistic CGI going on, just like we had in District 9. I mean, you believe these ships and these things are in this world, and it top-notch work there, and I loved the look of it with the visual effects. Some of the camera work, though, you know, Neil, you don't need the shaky cam all the time. I understand we did it in District 9 because it was more of a found footage type of documentary type of style, but in the action film scene, we don't need as much shaky cam. I would have preferred that we not quite had so much of that. Now, I understand that's the style. That's his style. But there were some action scenes where it was just a little difficult to tell exactly what was going on. And now I understand you want to try to give us the feel of the hectic kinetic energy of the action scene and how confusing it can be for some people. But visually entertainment, for visual entertainment, not quite so much. So I could have done a little less with the shaky cam going on. Uh, some great performances in here. Matt Damon... <laughs> You know, he just he just nails his character. I love his character. Very well developed and a solid character. Jodie Foster was fantastic in this. I loved Jodie Foster. Just seeing her on the big screen and the character that she was playing was awesome. Only problem I had with her character, I'm not sure why she was doing the accent. She didn't need to do the accent. We're set in the future. We shouldn't have everybody have a similar accent. Um, I have nothing against accent. It just didn't feel right with her character and, and maybe it was the way the ADR was or maybe it was the theater I watched in, but the voice just, just didn't quite fit her, you know, so I think I would have enjoyed her character even more had there not been the accent, okay? Uh, the rest of it, you got uh, the Neil Bonkamp, who's becoming a Neil Bonkamp standard, uh, Charlotte uh, Copley. Uh, he was great as this Kruger character, you know, this this, uh, this agent for hire, if you will, loved his burly character. Definitely a different character than what we saw in District 9, and him exercising some acting chops there, showing his versatility, and I really liked his role. Uh, the sporting cast was decent as well. We don't get a huge amount of depth in there, but it, it was fun. It, this was fun. It was a nice original type of story, which I, I right there also put it in the plus column, okay? Now, like I said, I did have a little bit of problems with some of the direction, especially the camera work and the shaky cam, but uh, it did not take me away from really enjoying this film at the end. I gave Elysium four and a half stubs, okay? I did enjoy this film, not quite five, just because of some of the issues I had with the direction and the camera work, but it is worth seeing on the big screen, and you gotta support this because, again, support the original works so Hollywood knows they don't need to keep 
keep doing the reboots and remakes and sequels to have a blockbuster hit. And that'll about do it for us here at the Final Cut. Till next time, keep that ticket stub. Thank you.